Hello, everyone. This is Nathan Bridges from Nathan Snuggis in town with Bishop O'Dowd, basketball player in Puget Sound commit Taj Phillips. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me, man. Appreciate Any it. Anytime I'll start my first question. How old are you when you start playing basketball? Um, I was probably about four years old. I started playing basketball at the YMCA. Yeah, started pretty young. So you got to start early? Yeah, I got started early because my ba my family's a whole basketball family, so I was kind of born into it. So it runs in your family? Right, yeah. My dad uh, played college basketball, and my uncles played college basketball. Well, obviously, it does. Right. Did you play any other sports? Um. Yeah, uh, when I was younger, like six, I played track, soccer, and football. Yeah, I played those three sports besides basketball. So you did four, you did like a variety too? Yeah, it was like kind of figuring out what kind of sport I want to play. And I just fell in love with basketball, so I stuck with it. When did you decide to like just go to basketball? Um, Probably around eight or nine when I started playing competitively, like uh, AAU. That's when I really started enjoying playing. So I went starting AAU and travel and competitive. Right, yeah, travel ball. Once I seen how fun it was playing against other teams, I had to stick with it. What made you decide to go to Bishop O'Dowd? Um, uh, being in the Bay Area, you kind of know Bishop O'Dowd as like this huge powerhouse for basketball. So growing up, I've always went to games and I've known Coach Lou, the head coach there for since I was little, like seven, eight. So it was kind of a pretty easy decision for me to go there. So it was an easy decision, like growing up in the Bay Area, like it's a well-known name, a well-known school, and you had already known the coach for a while. Right, yeah. It was it was kind of like a, it was a blessing to get in the school. That's kind of what I've been wanting to do since I was in middle school. So I was like the college or high school, I mean, you want, always wanted to go to? Yeah, definitely, definitely. What's it been like playing for Bishop O'Dowd? Oh, man, it's been... It's been a great, it's probably one of my best uh, experiences so far in life. Um, just experiencing new things, making more connections, and just the people, the coaches, the teammates. It's been a really blessing to play for. So it's been a great thing and like one of the best things in your life to play for them. Right, yeah. What's it like playing in the state high school basketball playoffs? Um, very it's very exciting. Like your adrenaline is like second to none. Um, it's probably like one of the most fun games to play. So it's like very exciting, like the adrenaline is running high, like during the games. Right. Yeah. Like, especially with in playoffs when it's packed crowds and uh, student sections, it gets kind of tense. Yeah. Did he play against a lot of guys who are like D1 now? Yeah. Um, we, we kind of play like a, we play like a lot of teams, like, uh, like Jaden Hardy, um, a lot of like four or five star guys. Is he the one that's going to Auburn? Um, I don't, I think he's uncommitted right now, oh. but yeah, but top three in our class. What's the most intense high school basketball game you ever played in? Ooh, that's a good question. Probably, um, Archbishop Mitty, my junior year this past year, um, it was the state, it was the game before the Northern California Championship. So it was, we played at their gym. They had the whole student section, it was packed out. They didn't let anybody else in. Yeah, so I would definitely say the intensity in that game was very high. So it was like really intense and like to get to the Northern California Championship and like the, the student section was packed. Right, yeah. the Open State Championship, it's like the, the crowds, our crowd, their crowd, it was very like rowdy. It was fun to play. So that's in the Open Division? Right, yeah. How long have they had Open Division for you guys? Um, I think Open has been around for like, um, probably like 20 years, but uh, Northern the Northern Coast section, they just had NCS Open this past year, my junior year, and we were actually the first to win it. Oh, that's cool. I remember in Fred's in like the Central Valley, it was their first year also for them to have open division. 
Oh, that's cool. Man. Mm -hmm. I went to one of the games. It was crazy. Yeah, what game did you go to? It was Memorial versus Clovis North. Oh, yeah. That's a good uh, uh, Valley game. Mm -hmm. I Clovis North had it, but then they lost their lead and Memorial won. Yeah. When did the recruiting process begin for you? Um, I think the first couple of coaches that got in contact with me were sophomore summer going into junior year after we went to um, Arizona to play in section seven. Uh, I would definitely say that sophomore year. Uh, going to junior year. So sophomore year is like when coaches first started contacting you and like talking to you? Right, yeah, I had a bigger role going to junior year. I was starting, so more eyes were on me and yeah, our team was really good. So it brought a lot of attention to our team. So they are like interested in what you could do. Yeah, a couple of coaches had, they're like kind of, cause I was kind of really unknown. And then a couple of coaches saw me play and they were interested in yeah, just seeing me play more. What made you choose Puget Sound? Um, they were one of the first schools to get in contact with me. So that, that played a big part in it. Um, coach Shelton, he's a great guy, very genuine. Um, he's a great coach. Like he also played when he was uh, in high school and in college. So I know he knows what he's talking about. And yeah, he, it looks like he's building a great uh, team and a great like family over there. So I was blessed to be a part of it. So they were one of the first to like start talking to you and offer you to play at the college level. And they're, the coach, he is a great guy and he's building a good program around there. And he has the experience as a player. So, you know, he, and he has a lot of experience. Right, yeah. The coaching staff is, um, they're, they're really good and good people. And the players, I went on a visit there. The players were cool. They seemed like opening and like welcoming. So that was cool. Yeah. How do you feel your play style fits in that Puget Sound? Um, I feel like it uh, fits uh, almost perfectly because um, the whole league, the Northwest Conference, uh, it's a very high scoring, like, each uh, game is probably 70, 80 points a game. So I like shooting threes. So like running gun like the Warriors, uh, I feel like that's my play style and just pushing in a fast break tempo, up tempo. So it fits your style really well because like, it's a high scoring, you like to shoot a lot of threes and push the tempo. Right, yeah. Is that how, and that's how they play? Yeah, they, they go up and down a lot. So I like that play, their play style. Those games are always fun to watch. Right. Yeah. Very entertaining. We ate the Arkansas Baylor. Yeah, they were going up and down, just scoring, scoring, scoring. Mm -hmm. That was crazy to watch. Yeah. They learned to get the dub, though. Mm -hmm. They have Davion Mitchell. He's quick. Yeah. Yeah. They're three guards. They're tough. The Baylor mm -hmm. guards. What kind of role are you looking to have in your freshman year? Um, I would definitely say um, just pretty much whatever the coach uh, like needs me to fill in, like whether it's um, scoring, assist, rebounding, or just anything that I'm looking to contribute. But uh, personally, I'm looking to bring a lot of intensity and um, being like the coach on the floor and just being the leader, lead for the team. It's like being a leader, like a floor general. Right, yeah, floor general. And like doing whatever the coach needs you to do, like is it make an impact in scoring or assist, just do whatever he needs you to do. Right, just whatever way I can make the best impact in the game. What are your goals for your career at Puget Sound? Um, some of my goals, I'll say athletically, um, some of my goals are to be Northwest Conference uh, Freshman of the Year. That's definitely one of my biggest goals. Then eventually being Player of the Year in the conference and uh, leading, one of, being one of the all-time leaders and assist there. And for team-wise, uh, making the, the tournament, the national tournament for them. So to make the, to be Freshman of the Year in the conference and then to leave a legacy and be the leading assist player to make the tournament. Yeah, definitely. And Wait. academically, I would say um, just graduating and probably getting my MBA after I graduate with a bachelor's. Which tournament is it called? 
Um, it's it's the uh, D three. It's kind of I think it's called March Madness too. It's just like the national tournament tournament of sixty four. That's cool. And so it's like or the one seeds play like the six teams. Right. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Do you, like where do they host those games? Um, I'm pretty sure they host them like. They hosted the Final Four, I think, last year in uh, Indiana, Indiana, pretty much a lot of Midwest uh, schools. It's almost like in the Midwest, like, like this year? Yeah. yeah. What are you most looking forward to at Puget Sound? Um, definitely just making new friends and meeting new people, building bonds and connections just like growing as a person definitely and just experiencing something new so meeting new people making like new relationships that like you'll know for the rest of your life and just for the new experience like at college right yeah just experiencing some new scenery and just yeah, meeting new people have you visited it yet um yeah i actually visited it in january around january um that's when i committed because I fell in love with the campus and the coaching staff, and it was just a great vibe. I loved it. So it was great a fit all around. Right, yeah. What's the best game you had in your high school basketball career? Um, probably the Archbishop Midi game. That's probably one of my best games. Um, considering it was like like such a high state game. And uh, my stat line, I think, had 20 points, uh, six assists, and six rebounds. So that was a pretty good game for me. So that game, where you also, or it was also the most intense that you ever played, and it was also your best. Right, yeah. And you made a good impact at 20 points, six assists, and six rebounds. Right, yeah. Our whole team had a really good game, so they also helped me a lot. How many points did you guys score? Um, I believe it was uh, 73. We had 73 and they had like 60. We won by like 14 or 13. That's a lot. Yeah. Game. Who is your favorite basketball player as a kid? Ooh, as a kid, I was a really big Celtics fan with Rondo and Kevin Garnett. So I would probably say when I was like younger, Rajon Rondo, and then probably like middle school up until now, Damian Lillard, since he's from Oakland and from the Bay. I've always just looked up to him. See, like Drayshon Rondo, when he was like in his prime, like on the Celtics, and then Damian Lillard, since he's from Oakland. Yeah, definitely. And he's a clutch player. Yeah, he's probably one of the clutchest players in the league right now. Mm-hmm. Didn't he go to like Oakland High or something? Yeah, he went to uh, Oakland High and then Weber State. He was kind of like underrated, like out of high school, right? Yeah, that's why I kind of looked up to him because he was like underrated and no one really knew. And then once he got his chance, he blew up and just never looked back. Mm -hmm. Now he's like one of the best players in the NBA. Definitely one of the best players in bars league. For sure. Mm -hmm. Do you try and model your game after anyone? Yeah. Um. I would try to like add aspects from different players, not really just one player. So I'd like, like Chris Paul, definitely. He's, he's like a true point guard. So definitely him. Um, he knows how to run the pick and roll really good. Kemba Walker, he's quick, like uh, his, he's very agile. And Kyrie Irving, his finishing is unreal. So definitely his finishing at his height. So you like to like take different parts of some of the best point guards games and then implement it into yours and like make it better. Definitely it's all around. It's like Chris Paul, Kemba Walker, and Kyrie Irving. Yeah. Those are all good players to model you game after. Yeah, very good point guards. Mm -hmm. How would you describe yourself off the court? Um, off the court, I'm, I feel like I'm a very laid back person. Don't really do too much. I uh, like to chill with friends and family. Um, but once you like get to know me, I'm a really cool person to hang around. Like, funny, energetic. And yeah. It's like you're fun, funny and like energetic. You're a cool person to hang around. Yeah, just laid back and not really doing a lot. What were you majoring? Um, I'm undecided right now, but I'm probably going to major in business uh, with an emphasis on entrepreneurship. Probably that. It's like business and then 
entrepreneurship? Yeah, I'm looking to start my own business in college, grow it throughout college. So I have a really good business to build off when I'm adult. So you want to start like once you're in college so that you can build it. And then when you're an adult, it's like ready. Yeah, it's like ready and it's done. I already know what I'm doing. So I can just take off. And then you're like set already and make it better. Definitely. Then the last question I have is for fun. You get to take any three NBA players to dinner. They can be past or present. Who are you taking? Mm, three. I don't want to take a lot, but three. Um, I'll probably say Bill Russell because he had an unreal career with all the rings. And he's a Bay Area guy. Uh, definitely LeBron James. He's probably my favorite player now. And... Dang, probably, probably Steph Curry, because he changed the game. He changed the game with the threes. Mm -hmm. He did that. Those are all guns. Like Bill Russell, he has the most um, rings, right? 11? Yeah, 11. That's crazy. That is. Then LeBron, do you like him better than Damian Lillard? Um, no, I probably like Damian Lillard better, but LeBron, I like, like, he's a very, like, he's a business guy. Uh, he carries himself well. He's a great family man. He's just someone to really look up to. And then Steph Curry, since he changed the game, like, with three-pointers. Right, like, he just changed the game. Like, just everyone's a guard now, pretty much. Every You have to shoot the three. And, yeah, he seems like a very cool person, down-to-earth guy. So I would definitely want to meet him. Are you, like, a Warriors fan living in the Bay Area? Um, I used to be a Warriors fan when like they had Monte Ellis, but I don't, I kind of drifted off and just started liking specific players from different teams. Yeah. I said like it's like your favorite like players. You said who were my favorite players? Yeah. Uh, from probably uh, Monte Ellis. He was like my all-time favorite Warrior player when the like the We Believe kind of movement. Definitely him. Uh, I like watching Kobe. He was he was unreal to watch when he was on the Lakers in his prime. Probably them too. Yeah. So those are your favorite. Yeah, they're definitely one of my favorite players to watch growing up as a kid. All right. Thank you for joining me today. Those are all the questions I have. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you for having me. Enjoy Anytime, it. thank you for doing it. Yes, sir.